The King James Bible was first published in 1604, between 1604 and 1611. And I want you to think about this, folks. This was only 400 years ago, and no one was calling the Savior Jesus. They said, Isus, Isus, Jesus. And, you know, and, 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 and yet these lying Christian preachers are telling the people that Jesus is the only name by which mankind will be saved. So let me, so I, so I, I want to know this. <laughs> I want to know this. What about the apostles and all the early believers who never heard of this name Jesus? Are they doomed? I, I, would, I would like to hear someone answer that question. You know, remember the basis of being saved is knowing the name of the Savior. Okay, well, let's read it again. That's one of the basis. Let's put it that way. Acts 4 verse 12. There is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. That's what the scripture says. And my friends, it is not Jesus Christ. The church leaders really don't care about the truth, nor think that it's important for their followers to know the truth. They have too much invested in the false name Jesus, the same way the Jewish rabbis have too much invested in the pagan names uh, Elohim and Adonai. This is why they cannot accept the truth no matter how much evidence is presented to them. Accepting the truth would mean burning their books. More than that, if they, if they should come out and say, well, you know, the name of the Messiah is Yeshua. They know that people would, would begin to ask, well, what other lies have you been telling us? You know, that's why they're so afraid. Some of them are trying to use the name Yeshua and Jesus at the same time. You know, they realize that people are catching on to this. Okay, so they're trying to use it at the same time. I, I, I remember the, the minister that Barack Obama got to, to do um, the prayer at his inauguration. He mentioned the name Yeshua. You know, they realize that it's the truth is being told. The truth is getting out. And because people, there's been an increase in knowledge. Okay, people can go on and, and research these things now and see it. Okay, I think a lot of people were shocked when during the Passion of the Christ, that movie, they never said the word Jesus. Okay? The apostles never heard the word Jesus. It was made up just a few hundred years ago. And the preachers are telling people that it's the name by which men will be saved. Total lies. You see, when they make a movie like The Passion, they do a little research. The, the masses... The masses are just fed what, they're, they're, what the, 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 the Christian preachers are giving them. You know, you can't say, well, the Jews, you know, call him Yeshua and we, we're going to call him Jesus, you know, and, and, and stuff. That, that won't work. That won't work. <laughs> if, that, if that was the case, well, you know, what if the Hindus call him um, uh, 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 Gandhi and, and the Germans call him Hitler what then you know would that make it right you know you cannot call the Messiah what you want and say that you know that name that you came up with is the only name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved when that name only came into existence a few hundred years ago. That is totally false, my friends. Only the true name will do. Only the true name will do, my friends. For more information, write The House of Yahweh. Yahweh is spelled Y-A-H-W-E-H. Post Office Box 2498, Abilene, Texas, 79604.
or call toll free at 1-800-613-9494. That's the House of Yahweh, P.O. Box 2498, Abilene, Texas, 79604, or call 1-800-613-9494. And don't forget to ask for our free monthly magazine, The Prophetic Word.